Guys, I want to let you know that the giveaway for the 212s, Sundown Audio E12 subs, and the 1200 watt base series Terra Amp is still going on. Don't forget to pick up your merch, uh, sticker, and a t-shirt. Um, I am doing double entries this, for this last week of the giveaway. Giveaway ends May 2nd, which is on Tuesday coming up. Not, not tomorrow, but the following Tuesday of next. And we will be announcing the winners on Cinco de Mayo. Right now we're doing double entry, so don't forget to pick up a, a sticker or a t-shirt or the combo deal of both of them. Remember, a $5 entry will get you no merch and it'll get you two entries right now since we're doing double entries. Picking up a sticker for $10 will get you four entries um, because it's double entries. Picking up the t-shirt the for $25 will get you 10 entries in it. Um, and picking up the, the combo of the shirt and the decal at the same time for $30 will get you 20 entries in. So don't forget, man, you know, get those entries in. Someone's going to walk away and it's going to be jamming with that system, man. YouTube, what's good, man? Welcome back to another video. It is Monday, like 1030, something like that. And we have a little project in our hands today, which is we're going to start sanding down the panels that we built last week and get them ready for vinyl so we're actually going to start uh, grinding it down with the Makita which is a, a bigger grinder which is actually this guy right here and best grinding uh, grinder in the game the Makita I feel I um, mean we just got some regular ordinary uh, grinding disc but we're actually going to use 60 grit um, to really knock off a lot of the rough surface but still somewhat give us a nice smooth finish because then after that we come back with our DA right here and we snap a new piece of uh, 80 grit and you know finish the whole project with 80 grit um, because me personally I like a rougher surface so the blue the glue can really um, you know bond to it really good on uh, the panel and then you know it's a contact adhesive so obviously we need to put glue on the panel and on the material as well so it can you know have that strong bond so go ahead and you know hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and if you're new to the channel man we drop uh, bomb car audio videos uh, car show videos and you know just a all the way around car channel you know what I'm saying I got the love for all kinds of stuff so if you really like cars from like different uh, types man go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know we, we major in uh, car audio and hit that like man if you've been liking all these videos that I've been dropping lately on the fiberglass stuff um, this is the one that we actually um, did a little bit to yesterday so I did a, a little test I did a little test um, I always tell you guys I always give the panels a bath just to get the tackiness and the stickiness from the panel so it doesn't gum up on the grinding disc pads so you know I think I had a guy comment you know a few while back in some other videos saying that it's tacky because uh, the resin is not good it's probably from like AutoZone Walmart and this and that blah 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 um, which you know I respect his uh, comment you know whatever he says that's his opinion but you know I get my resin straight from Yellowfin which is a boat company and if you guys are familiar with boats, Yellowfin is like the elite um, brand of boats, like of, of, you know, water boats. You know, it's got really nice boats. So all the products that they use for everything is like high end. So my dad, he works there at Yellowfin. So, you know, we got the hookup with the fiberglass resin as well with Bondo and everything. So, you know, I really trust my dad's word with the fiberglass stuff over anything because... He's been working um, in the marine boat stuff since Wellcraft days. Um, and he's actually, you know, been working and those those stuff for over like 30, 40 plus years. You feel me? So, you know, yes, we do fiberglass car audio projects here and there. But that man has been working with fiberglass for over like 30 plus, you know, 40 plus years. If you really add up the, the years of how long he's been working on uh, boats. So, you know, that guy really... You know, he knows his stuff on that stuff. My dad, if I uh, honestly would be like, hey, you know, can you sand this stuff for me? He would have it done in like in an hour and he could wear a suit and, you know, not get no type of bondo or stuff on there. You know, that's how neat, you know, he is with working. 
and with him working that long he already knows his tricks and you know his thing he always tries to stay clean as, as good as possible that's how you know you're a good worker you know how how clean you stay you know during your work days you know so um yes stuff does get messy and dirty but you know my dad you know he's the man when it comes to fiberglass so now now back to the thing so what i did you know i asked my dad why does it get a little tacky but this has already been like months back and you know he's already told me like over like years you know whatever it gets tacky because sometimes we put a little bit more MEK um, when we do our mixture with the resin and the MEK just so we can have a faster finish so we can get it to get hard. So yeah, uh, when we actually fiberglass the top of the console, I think I usually do like uh, the measuring up to 10. But I think I went ahead and almost did a measuring almost like between seven and a half and eight on that one. So it'll give us a nice slow drying um, effect. So with doing that, um, yes, it didn't leave it as tacky as normal because if I do the 10, so obviously that's going to make it more tacky. So I did between seven and eight uh, measuring on the little cup that we got. And it didn't leave it as tacky as the other times but it still had a little bit of tackiness because no matter what it's always going to be tacky man you know it's fiberglass resin you know it's it's a chemical so it, that's where the giving it a bath and the acetone comes into play and it just you know makes sure that it gets a lot of that stuff off so no matter what you know you're still gonna have to give it an acetone bath just you know to be on the safer side um so i think from now on if we're you know not pressed for time we're just going to go ahead and do um, the seven, you know, for every time we do a cup of resin that we have to mix to apply it on a panel or whatever we do. You, you know, and, and like always, man, just take your time. You know, it's not a rush. It's not a competition. Um, everybody builds stuff for themselves or for somebody. And, you know, the, you know, you just need self um, pleasement on, you know, making sure that you know that you tried the best that you can to get that panel done. And it's not a perfect world. I guarantee you, even the guys that are like real big dogs in the car audio game, you know, they learn every day just as well as us. But, you know, obviously they're on a lot bigger projects. But even on bigger projects, a lot more gets taken to considering than, you know, us with the smaller projects that we got going on. Okay, but uh, so enough of that. So subscribe to the channel. Definitely hit the like on this video and man we're just one week away from all the giveaways man so stay tuned um get entered on all of them uh the description for the giveaway for the 212s and the terror amp is going to be in the description of the video all right so real quick before we get started um quick update on the cat you know if you guys are a mousetrap gang member man you know you know that you know your boy lost his cat slash friend the other day he got out so what i'm actually you know, I'm just going to let nature take its course. And, you know, if fate, if our both of our fates is to be reunited again, he, he can find his way home. And um, we'll wait for him here with open arms. But, you know, like, I, I'm, i like, really heartbroken over my loss that he took off. And I can only imagine, you know, younger kids, um, how the way they feel or how they think. You know when they lose an animal so what i actually went ahead and did and what i'm going to keep doing is you know i'm always going to put some like food and some water out here um just so people can somewhat just feel some closure um thinking if their cat's gonna eat or how other people um treats their lost animals and you know i would want at least whoever my my cat's around to at least like you know give them some water or some food so, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and just leave some food and water out for all the other cats that are just roaming around or dogs or whatever. Um, if they just happen to come across my house, you know, there's food and water out there for them, you know, at least so they get fed throughout the day and not have to dig through the garbage and, you know, just find whatever they can find, you know, so at least can, they can have a good meal if they happen to cross around my house. But we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Um, I have faith, so... If, if you're watching this young man somewhere, you know, come home. I have the, uh, this is a, a Bondo with a mixture of Duraglass um, that my dad hooked it up with from Yellowfin. And that is like a, a good mixture right there to give us a strong bond 
and it's like a, a real lightweight filler so it's really easy to sand so it's not like you know um a lot of like a uh, harsh work that we have to do to get it but you know like i said i've developed my techniques to help me um sand a little bit faster and make sure that it gets done you know the, as the best of my ability but i've already uh, gave this guy a bath and we're gonna let it sit in the sun right here a little bit while i start grinding on this bad boy and real quick some quick tips that I use um, methods that I use whenever I, I sand when I start the first stage which is grinding the actual fiberglass off um, for one I, I actually wear gloves in the first process of sanding the fiberglass down because those uh, fiberglass particles um, the dust uh, it does get itchy really bad on your skin so that's always a, a must you know, my arms aren't that bad, but my hands, you know, they always get a little bit itchy. So I'm going to go ahead and put the gloves on. Um, number two, I try to keep as much um, stuff out the way so I can maneuver around just so, like, I'm not paying attention on everything else. And I just stay focused on the panel. And the last thing, um, I always tend, say, if I have more than one piece to sand, I put the piece, another, the other pieces to the side and just keep the one piece that I'm working at on at that moment because sanding is stressful but at the same time it it, it it can't be stressful it's just a good time for you just to sit back sand and you know just you know just get it done but i feel like having all the pieces out in front of you um at you know while you can look at them creates you know um anxiety and more stress on like dang i have i really have to finish all this stuff and this and that so i always put you know the panels to the side and just work on the one that I'm working on at that moment just so I can make sure that everything gets done you know good and not having to like erase just to get it done so yeah so go ahead and you know hit that like button if you're liking the video so far man definitely subscribe if you like car audio and number three man you know just drop a comment any questions or anything I grinded uh you see like this is grinded down that's grinded down over there I need to put like angle grinds inside the inside of it um so it just lays in there pretty flat and as you can see like we grinded that down the insides of that and we removed all the stands from all the pods because remember we have inserts so we need a flat surface that we can mount on and so I got that out the way got that out the way um, these are a little gonna be a little bit more difficult to get out but um, I this inserts a little bit bigger so I'm gonna need to cut out that section out so we can slide in that insert from the back and then mount the speakers from the front with that plexiglass and I grinded off a lot of the stuff that I needed to grind off, you see? It was looking ugly. It still looks ugly, but a majority of it's all gone already. So This one, we're going to put it to the side. We're going to uh, grind this one after the, the top of the console because the top of the console is a little bit more um, harder to grind. And that one, that one's actually just a real um, sloped surface versus this one. It has a little bit more curves and stuff that needs a little bit more attention so we're gonna grind on this guy before anything but I think what I'll probably do is grind the insides of the corners that need a little bit more filler than usual um, just so we can get that like surface hard so when it's the time to you know start sanding and DA in that guy um, that surface is already ready just to build off of so I may just do that for right now let's keep grinding this is how I always get my uh, my rings down when I start to grind them you know somewhat flat and you know with this inside here I'm gonna have to get in there with uh, my hand with a piece of sandpaper probably like a 36 grit or 40 grit just to knock it off and I just come through lightly with the 80 but you see like on top of the rings right here flat here nice and flat um, so the next step right now what I'm gonna do is let's see how much more like this look so do you see like the disc it's already got a lot of stuff on it so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to swap the disc out because it's already did its purpose on knocking down and making sure we have flat edges. You see, look like right here, I probably got to knock it down a little bit right here. You see? Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to knock that down and knock that down. But um, that's not really a place where it needs to be flat, although it would be nice. But what I'm going to actually do is, um, just so I can finish wasting this pad, I'm going to go ahead and swap it out and grind those edges down. Then swap the pad out and then, you know, grind down all the panels. You know, still they got a lot of this shine off. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you guys can see, like, it's, sh like, shiny. Like, right here is a perfect example of the shine. Um, same thing, like, right there, you see that shine? 
get it down to where it just looks like like this right here but not as you know rigid like that but just like somewhat smoother then come through and DA it with the 80 grit with on this guy we're gonna have to swap out a paper because this one's about had it and you know start filling in from there guys one one thing I am gonna say guys real quick man that 60 grit um, disc on the Makita um, just with its first initial sand man it is really nice I like it um, so as you can see we knocked down a lot of the uh, console shine off of it the most rugged part of it and you know we're, we're pretty good on this one so the next step after this one is you know we're gonna put the 80 grit on the DA and then we're gonna go through it I may actually just go ahead and put a 36 grit just to even a lot of stuff out so we do very little bondo work on this guy you feel me I feel like this one doesn't need that much with that 60 grit that really knocked down and even a lot of stuff out now it's just a matter of like um you know evening everything out but you see like areas like this we do have to fill it in and i have to give it a nice you know um contour with the bondo so it has like nice curves um same thing with this so you know we got to fill that guy in and we just got to make sure that a lot of stuff is still pretty good but at the same time not as much as work is needed so i'm gonna actually go ahead and grind this one down with uh, the 60 grit on the makita to knock a lot of it off but you know this one's you know rather more simple than that guy so i'm not too worried so, about this one i actually decided i'm not even gonna waste no time spending like 20 15 to 20 minutes sanding it down with the uh, 40 grit 36 grit 40 grit um, i'm just gonna go ahead and start laying some filler in so it can dry and then we can just you know go ahead and just keep going forward with it instead of taking unnecessary steps that just waste a little bit of uh working time so this is actually the filler that we're going to use so it has a lightweight um bondo i guess you want to call it and then it does have Dura glass, which is the green one then that, that right there whenever um, you mix it and you lay it man that becomes a, a lot harder surface so it actually makes it a lot more stronger as well um, some people sometimes put you know they break up that fiberglass uh, mat that we use and break it up in just like individual like um, like grains or whatever and just throw it in there and mix it and that actually helps it become a little bit stronger as well but I just feel that's like almost what you call the kitty hair but um, to me that just makes more of a mess you see what I'm saying and the neater you work the lot faster you can get stuff done and you don't have to be like okay where's this and where's that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and whip some um, Bondo up and we're just gonna lay it on this one and on that guy as well let them uh, dry out for a little bit and then just start sanding so we do less little work and get stuff done a little bit faster and just make sure that we pay attention to small details and like i said i saved some of the wood i um, mean it's still up there as well from the other jobs so i can use as um you know i can mix my bondo on and spread it and stuff like that so let me go ahead and start mixing and start laying this on real quick all right gang so this is where we stand at we actually had to come to a stopping point because it's already that time of day where i have to go do the roundup and pick the kids up from school um so basically you know, I started sanding this down, and we can say that the titty panel, the speaker pod, it is, we'll say like 70% done. Although, when I started sanding it, you know, you did, I did come to a soft spot, which was right here. And so, basically, that soft spot, um, the top layer of the mat was probably dry, but underneath it, it didn't cure. You see what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if I missed it or I mean it just sometimes stuff like that happens um, so the best bet is to like cutting out uh, as much as possible and as wide as possible and then like somewhat like scuff it up real quick and then I actually did cut smaller strips of fiberglass mat so then I went ahead and mixed up a small batch of resin and look it's already like getting like hard so this thing is probably already like somewhat hard this here when you hear it um, so I uh, did the fiberglass resin on the soft spots there was one here and then one here um, so I went ahead and you know grinded them down a little bit and then you know uh, I cut the mat up mixed my resin up with a little bit of uh, a kick on her so then uh, so it can dry a lot faster so then what I did was I went ahead and I resined up the panel and then in the soft spots I resin it up really good and then I put the little smaller pieces of fiberglass mat in it. Then I resin her again really good. And then I went back and I put some more pieces of mat on top of it. 
so it really creates like a sandwich type of motion and same thing on the other side I actually went ahead and fiberglassed it uh, resin it and matted it into the inside so it's like hard on both sides so we're gonna let that cure for a little bit and then we're gonna acetone washer so she is ready to get sand in the morning same thing you know with this I put my bondle down it dried up pretty good um, we just have to pretty much just clean her up with a little bit of 80 grit and then you know just do a nice really nice um, sand through um, I probably got like another 30 minutes in this panel and then I think this one should be pretty done uh, now let's move to the console the console you know it's still somewhat drying but I mean it should be good to sand but like I said I actually have to go pick up these kids but while it was uh, curing uh, in the sun because the sun actually like the sun wasn't out um, but it like it just came out right now so and like I said with this stuff you need the heat you know in the in your favor so while that thing was curing I just went ahead and just got some acetone with uh, a rag up and I just started wiping her down just to make her even so it'll actually be a little bit more better to uh, sand down versus you know having all the bondo on there so that's actually going to make that a big difference so i probably got like another like hour and a half maybe two hours on the console so tomorrow um i think we can get back on her so yeah so that pretty much concludes the video for today you know um we did have a little bit of going on but really not that much now it's just a process of uh curing a few things and make sure everything's 100 percent so we can get back on the grind whoa with everything so I want to go ahead and thank you guys again for watching, for tuning in. If this is your first time, man, be a part of the Mousetrap gang, man. Subscribe. Definitely leave some comments. I like to hear people's feedback. Hit that like, man. Let's let's get a video to 100 likes, man. You know, like, we, we need to start grinding on this channel. Man, we are getting some good subscribers. Good views are going up, man. Everything. You know, I'm very, you know, very, very, very happy and blessed to have you guys as my audience, man. You know, especially, like, right now. Um, so, you know, subscribe. So that's it, man. So subscribe, hit that like, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.